Hello, this is Gary from the deep SLS ICS team. Here's a screencast which will show you how to use styles, table of contents and cover pages in Microsoft Word 2007. What we're going to do on this screencast is I'm going to show you two things. First of all is how to format uh, your document using styles. Um, and you can do things like this with it. Uh, and the second part, what we're going to do is uh, take the information we've got from them styles and do things like creating cover pages and a table of contents for a document. Uh, I'm just going to start at the beginning. Let's just, I'll just go back to the first slide. Uh, there's me, uh, my first document that I'm going to work on. Uh, now I'm going to format this document uh, using something called styles. Uh, and you will find these on the top, uh, top ribbon in the styles section there. Uh, can you see there? Uh, there's normal, uh, and what we're going to do is format the text into these styles. Like for example, I'm going to highlight assignment one, and then I'm going to click on a style that says title. There you go. I'm going to stick on, uh, click on uh, one introduction, and make that style heading one. Now, uh, don't worry if you don't like any of these sort of colours and styles of uh, and styles of formatting. Like for example, if you need to use Arial type size fourteen in bold for for your uh, heading styles, there uh, we can change all them in one go later on. Uh, I'm going to go further down this document, and I'm going to I like all of that text and make it uh, make that normal. It doesn't change it, but that's okay. And if you go to this, I'm going to make that head in one. And make this text normal. And three add a media and style one. I'm going to go down and highlight the next bit of the product text. And I'm going to make that normal. And I like that book there, I'm going to make that in style 1. And the next part of text. There. Yeah, normal. Now 4.1, I'm going to make this in style 2. Uh, and I like this text. There's a lot of text in this paragraph. And I'm going to make that uh, normal. Finally, we're going to go find conclusion, make that in style 1. And then the rest of the text, which takes to the bottom of the document, and make that normal. Now, what we've done there is we've pre formatted the document into these, um, just like normal and editing styles. Uh, and what we can do now is globally change all of this text into anything we want. For example, uh, introduction, if I right click on editing style 1, or mod modify, I can now change this to anything I like. So I'm going to take this Arial 14 bold and the color black. In the format section down there, you can do other things such as format paragraph, uh, points before 24, let me make that uh, 10 points before, and I'm going to make line space and Double. No, made legal enough and spacing. And click OK. Now, as you can see, it has changed that editing style to there. And if we go down, it's automatically changed all the other things we selected earlier on. So, 3, 4, uh, selected as one. 4.1 isn't because we used a different editing style for that. We used editing style 2. Uh, now, if we Right click Edit Style 2 and go Modify. That is the same style. I'm going to use Arial Point Size 14. Old. The format paragraph again. And put 10 points before. And one more line spacing. OK. Change the colour to black. And click OK. There you go. Now that's changed as well. 
Uh, no, finally, I'm going to go to uh, the normal text and go to modify again. And I know we've got to use Arial font size 11, color black, and formatting. And it's got to be, if you've got a paragraph, one half line spacing. Okay. Okay. Now I've got all of the text formatted into Arial one half line spacing. Uh, now this is an effective way of using styles because now uh, we know the document is formatted uh, the, the exact way that we want. Uh, another useful trick to do with styles if you're going to use this style on many occasions, like for example, all the other assignments have got to be set in the same style, you can go to change style and go to style set. And if you save as a quick style set, I'm just going to call this name such as Gary and click on save. And that is saved. Now any time I can format a document now, if I go to style sets, I put my name in there and it will automatically format the document into that style for me. And another trick you can do is when you change styles is go set as default and this will make it your default style setting. The next thing I'm going to cover is how to uh, uh, put a table of contents and a cover page onto the document. Now to do this, what you do first of all with the table of content is put your cursor in the place where you want the table of content. Uh, on the references uh, ribbon, which is the fourth one along, you will find something that says table of content. And if you click on the down arrow there, you can choose one of two a table of contents, one that just says contents and the other one says table of contents. I'm going to click on uh, automatic table 1 and it has automatically preloaded the table of contents in there from. Now what it has actually done, it has taken anything we used as on the editing styles and editing style 2 and automatically put that into a table of contents for me. Uh, and automatically puts the page numbers there for you. Uh, if we just scroll down and check this, there is page one. Now, what happens with this? It's uh, it's a little bit confusing when you first use it, but if you go down and put this on another page, so I'm going to put the introduction so it starts on page two. Uh, just have it there, starts on page two. Go back to the table of contents, it is still the still same page one. Now so what you've got to do is you've got to update your table of contents. You can do this in one of two ways. Uh, one of which is update table from the main uh, main ribbon or update table uh, from just above the table of contents. If you click on that, two options, update page number or entire table. Entire table will uh, let you put uh, will put other editing styles in if you added uh, added new sort of uh, titles and headings. Page numbers will just update your page numbers for you. So I'm going to click on uh, update page numbers only, and there you go. It has now changed the page numbers for us. Uh, the other thing I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do is show you how to put a table of contents in, and uh, that is, sorry, uh, I'm going to show you how to put in a cover page, and you can do that from the insert menu, and if you have a look on the left hand side, you'll find a cover page area. Click on the down arrow, and you've got loads of built in cover pages there. I'm going to use this one called sideline. And that has created a cover page for you, and you can put in a new title. And I'm going to in one. So the subtitle for that is to uh, formatting. Okay. Yeah. 
document. I'll put my name on there, not my username, which is Captain And you can pick a date. I'm going to put a date in. And I'm going to put it in there. And there you go, there is the cover page on there. There's your table of contents. Uh, the only thing I probably need to change again now, just having a look at that, is I need to update the table of contents again. Uh, because the page number has changed with introducing the full page. So again, update table, update page numbers only, and click OK. And there you go, there is the format of the document. I hope you find this uh, screencast useful. Uh, I am going to be putting on the screencast uh, via uh, the blogging area and on YouTube. Uh, I'd like to thank you very much for listening to me for the last four or five minutes. Uh, it's Gary Stora saying goodbye. Bye-bye now.